and welcome back to the Coffee Corner Show. Thanks for tuning in and make sure to follow us on all of our social media on Facebook at The Coffee Corner Show as well as Instagram and YouTube at The Coffee Corner Show. We're going to continue on our chat today to talk about some really important stuff. We've got Mr. Paul Mirador here oh. ready to prepare us on how to stay ready? safe for emergency situations. Take it away. I don't know how you remember all that Coffee <laughs> Corner Show at sign. But, uh, to just, okay, just to be serious, we're going to talk about how to prepare for when a natural disaster or an earthquake were to happen in your neighborhood. So I'm going to help you prepare for that. We're going to have a segment about how to, step by step, how to prepare yourself. But, so I'm going to give you a homework, and uh, these guys are going to give me some questions afterwards too. But I'm going to give you a homework. I challenge you this week, okay, you got five, six days to prepare this. Put together, a, get a backpack, number one, okay? Ah. Backpack that you can wear comfortably and has a lot of pockets. Second thing is you're going to need to get some stuff in a, a backpack, right? So you're gonna, first thing you got to get is I would customize a first aid kit because only you know what to put in your first aid kit. Allergy pills or whatever may they be. But you can get one of, you know what, go to Target. They usually sell buy three items and you get the kit for free. You get the bag for free, right? Customize it, put as many as, uh, as bandages you need, painkiller medicines, anything that you may need for your family or for yourself because not everyone have the same uh, uh, problems, the so same needs, right? Yes. So gather and put together, customize your own first aid kit. The second, two, second thing as a good suggestion, a good advice is that, you know when you uh, uh, go, to, go to your uh, toilet, go to your restroom, Get a toilet paper, a TP, right? Roll up without the cardboard in the middle. Roll up so that and, and get yourself a good bundle, because most of the time, and you may not have toilet paper around. So, this is a good, good, good thing to have. Uh, the other thing you're gonna have is you know maybe store a few uh, bottled water uh, in your car, in your backpack, and make sure that you Bridges have them all, all the time. Yes. There are. For me personally, uh, the, the reason why I, I, I talk about this is because I'm, a cur I'm currently a, a volunteer for the Red Cross and they have deployed me from Texas to, uh, or from California to Florida. And uh, we usually shut up shelters and we drive up the food trucks, we, we basically all the disaster needs that mentally, physically, that these people need. Uh, and most of the time, the problem is they don't have this kind of preparation. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm challenging you guys, challenging you guys to prepare for a, a backpack at least. Start with that. That is your personal backpack. You can have that in your car all the time. Up you can ready. have one at home. Up to ready. You know, have it all ready, right? On the side of your bed, make sure you've got a, maybe a hammer. So if you need to break a window or mm -hmm. need to be need to get out uh, because the, the the place is on fire, flashlight, a flashlight. Some 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 of us we have a helmet under under our bed, bed because you know we got challenging wives there to keep. No earthquakes, 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 earthquakes. Okay, <laughs> right. Sorry, I got uh, you know because my wife always kicked me out of the bed. But all right. So going back, uh, helmets are great because everything starts falling on you yes. and you know earthquake this is earthquake right earthquake and it's not a matter of if it's when it's going to happen so just get ready with those sneakers oh put a couple of uh, tennis shoes sneakers rubber uh, rubber shoes whatever you may call it put them in the bag put them in a backpack put one in a car change of clothing uh, towel uh, plastic uh, dust mask and and what is n95 kind of a uh, uh, air filter air uh, filter right so, uh, dust mask, right? Because you, you've seen the September 11 when that happened, everybody turned white because everybody's got smoke, dust, dust, and all that, right? So, you got an extra bottle of water to uh, to to wash the the cloth, the, the towel that you may have to wash yourself. Okay, start with those, and like I said, I challenge you to have more items. Now, thinking about Christy, I can't forget because she's right here. <laughs> Think about a uh, whistle. Get yourself a decent whistle. A bling bling whistle will do that too. What's the whistle for, Paul? Well, I personally have a storm whistle. That means if you if you were surround if you got buried under a, de a bunch of debris and, and the building fell on top of you, well, you're dead. But in a building, <laughs> no, no, <laughs> you're, you're, you're survived. You're survived. You're, 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 you're gonna you're survive. Not dead. All right. If you get trapped, <laughs> yes. All right. Better word. Okay. When you get trapped, 
blow the whistle. Everybody can hear you, right? So make For sure the rescue we, team. For exactly. So let's start with those things. Those are basic things you're going to need. Change of clothes, tennis shoes, rubber shoes, or whatever you may have. Mask. Not the sleeping mask, but the, the goggles. There you go. Dust mask. Start with those. First aid kit. And uh, let us know once you've completed one. You can even uh, post it on our Facebook page, uh, whatever you've collected. Because some people may think of some things they may need, some people may not. So, uh, you know, flashlight, you know, one of those things. What okay? does the That's doctor good. recommend? What Doc else do you have? Well, I mean, I do agree with you're talking about a first aid kit. So it's true. Let's say there's a disaster and, you know, you can't get your miles away from the nearest ER clinic then yeah, if you have a, uh, a cut or, or bleed, you know, obviously put pressure on it. Um, you know, you want things to have in case of an emergency because you never know how long, or if you don't have any transportation, you know, if you need to treat something right away, you've got the materials. So obviously that's very important. Yeah, so like I said, uh, speaking from experience, uh, like I said, I've been deployed by the Red Cross from California to Florida. And I'm also uh, a CERT member. CERT is Community Emergency Response Team uh, in Level 3, which is e EMR, Emergency Medical Res Rescue. Uh, we get trained on how to do those bandages, CPRs, and, and uh, uh, search and rescue. We get trained on that. But I don't want to get it more complicated. Another thing you're going to need to have is a radio, a, a preferably a ham radio. Now, you need to be licensed, I have to disclose this, you have to be licensed by the FCC to operate a home radio. But you know what? If, if, if it's an emergency, if a disaster were to happen, it's an emergency. it won't matter. But you didn't hear that from me. So, uh, <laughs> God. at least you have a radio that you can monitor, communicate with your family, and, uh, you know, because everything else, cell phones, they're going to be gone. They're not going to work. Okay, as proven from other typhoons that have happened in the Philippines and other countries. Uh, What's another source of power? That was going to be my question, is how are we going to communicate and what sources of power can we possibly try to store? Very case? good question. There's a lot of solar, uh, 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 you know, those battery chargers that you may have. I have one that is solar, so I just put it in my dashboard and it's always, you know, it's charging. always uh, oh, charging, okay. right? Go solar. Make sure to come check out our Facebook page at the Coffee Corner Show and like us, share all the information with us, tell all your friends, we want, we want you to join us.